and Dark and Ran back at, in Mass Effect 3. We just met the best squad mate in the fucking game. Besides Stanley. And Garrus. But well, I'm yeah. pretty sure he might, he might actually be better than Garrus. I mean, Garrus is best bro. There's no, there's, there's no doubting it. But yeah. Yeah, yeah that is that. So Garrus is a bro. Sending signal because flares Joker, on. You might have some. Because Joker, you might have some competition there. <laughs> More of a. Think she's sending any signal flares? Maybe. Calling him a wall. All propulsion systems are running off. Uh, those two are always a good a good laugh. Every now and then she's got a, a good chuckle, too. Yeah. What can you do? Imagine trying to, like, read that live. Just, oof. Yeah. Also, the, this is literally the biggest story in, in the entire history years. Of, of humankind. And I cannot say a fucking word about it. <laughs> that must be eating her so bad. Okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any RR? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. Yep. I appreciate I, your but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter job. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just... Watch them drift by in silence. You know the reviews like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. It's a favor to me. I find it very hard to say no to you, Shepard. <laughs> As it should be. <laughs> I think that being the commander is not the only reason there. I mean, he is a romance option for Male Shepherd, yes. Kind of figure. But no, I actually, I actually like him. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's nice. I do want him to be better. And sadly... <laughs> yeah, when are you going to go pilot that one, huh? I wonder. Yeah. I wonder if it's even possible. I yes. As I was Real trying to say... Sadly, working your working your ass off to ignore the problems and mental issues and trauma does not actually help you move past them. Nope. That's bound to screw with your mind. Yeah. Well, here's hoping he can help us with the Reapers. Huh? What do you have here? Model Corian ship. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, we've got the firing on. range now, and we've bought that. <laughs> yeah. yeah I should put, we should put that in our room. Reminds us of that while... I mean, it's automatically in the captain's cabin. cabin. Oh, oh, we don't have to, like, customize it or anything. No, it's just there. Oh, cool. 
Uh, we no, don't we can have... remind ourselves of Tali while we wait to be able to finally recruit her. And apparently they've already fucked off. That's kind of disappointing. Well, we did have a stop, but... Uh, I mean, we didn't plan, I guess. Well, yeah. You know, I could just check the fucking map. Everyone... Everyone's where they normally are. Yeah, kind of... I wish we had more options than that. We found this. Weapon upgrade kit. Ammo wep ammo capacity or weapon weapon damage? <laughs> like, what kind of question is that? It's not even a question. Fuck off. So that's what the upgrade kit did. What was the other thing anyway? That just lists okay. our um current upgrades. Ah. Uh. Data pad recovered from Karshan. Entry one. Hmm. The messages came through. They told us not to worry, everything was fine. That we would throw back the invasion. There was a bright flash that near blinded me when I caught a glimpse of it. It sounded like the sky was cracking above us. Firestorms tore through the city, burning thousands. From from my bed, I could still see their shadows etched against the walls. My poor Kella. She's a shadow now. <laughs> Entry 2. Rain used to be clear. It brought fresh scents that made this fell place feel less like the crotch of the universe. It's now black. Bites through skin and cloth. Nothing protects you from it. Thousands have fallen ill and so have I. More die every hour. My time's at hand, I know it. I overheard someone claiming it was radiation. I don't know what it, that is. It's almost unbearable to type this message, but I must leave something behind. All else has been taken from me. Entry 3. The invaders still come. I hear the screams of battle in the distance. They are beyond imagining. Why do we fight them? They're the voices of gods. They claim to be our salvation through destruction. I lie here. I can barely move. I can barely see. But I hear them. I believe them. The hegemony lied. Maybe they're telling us the truth. Mm. Yeah, he's dead as a doornail. Yeah, no shit. Prothean notes. Entry 1. The things this Prothean must have seen. If they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him time to get his bearings, but goddess, when will we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? Hmm. Yeah. Garrus? Shepard. Oh, no commentary? That's all for now, Garrus. Yes, not. Anytime. Disappoint. I was hoping he'd have something to say. I do wish you could run a little faster in the ship. Yeah. This kind of slow. Just a bit. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth. Our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently oh. designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. <laughs> Prothean uh. translation program. <laughs> That's actually a fucking war asset. Of course. I mean, um, can be useful. Uh, like if you find more ruins or something... Yeah, it updates the Crucible blueprints. Uh, Javik has given the Alliance a non-technical language translation program designed for the subservient races of the Prothean Empire. Although limited, it has enabled faster progression in deciphering certain aspects of the plans. Yeah. <laughs> Garrus, damn this war. I received a distress call from Sedonis. No idea how it got through to me. He says the military is ignoring his distress calls. Anyway, he's holed up on Invictus with some other veterans trying to protect a small group of civilians. Some are families with kids. Shepard and the Reapers are harvesting everything that moves. They won't last a day if we don't help them. The hierarchy doesn't consider them a high priority and doesn't have any extra ships to send away anyway. He's got to be desperate if he's reaching out to me. Sometimes I really hate being stuck up here away from the fight. Damn. Uh, that's a side quest to do. 
Maybe. I don't can know. We look at? I hope we can. You remember who Sedonis is, right? Not much. He was the one that uh, Garrus's loyalty mission about. The one that betrayed uh, him. Um, and we convinced Garrus not to put a put a bullet in his head. Yeah. <laughs> From Arya, cannon fodder. Shepard, I have a situation I need you to handle immediately. The Turians have a maximum security prison in the Chaoston Rift, and I've received information that there's a Reaper in the area. The inmates will riot if we don't retrieve them, and if they riot or the Reaper finds them, they're as good as dead. In either case, they don't have long. The Turians are understaffed and outgunned and can't fight both the inmates and the Reapers at the same time. I've made an arrangement with one of the gang leaders inside the prison. Their service for their lives. Retrieve them and they will join my forces until you need them. I'll make sure they don't step out of line. As a specter, you can authorize their release. Okay, then. Interesting. A news article on Eden Prime. Alliance forces, Alliance officials confirm a local resistance movement has successfully pushed Cerberus forces off Eden Prime. Cerberus attacked Eden Prime for reasons that remain unclear and set up facilities to occupy the colony. But after a constant attack from a united populace, Cerberus troops retreated. Alliance officials are sending in evacuation transports now to get colonists off-world before Reaper forces reach the colony. We owe this victory to the Alliance, Resistance leader Edward Crabbe said in a prepared statement. The people of Eden Prime have always been ready to fight, but Alliance Intel gave us the tools we needed to push those Cerberus bastards off our planet. Many Resistance fighters have said they plan to enlist to support the Alliance. And that's how I said, probably. Yep. It's, it's a criminals versus veterans. Hmm. Wait, I don't like where this is going. Uh... So either we go help uh, Sedonis and and the people he's trying to protect, or go get Arya and her criminal. Or go get Arya's criminals. We can't oh. do both. That's not even okay. a serious question. It's like what kind of question is that? Clearly, we're helping Sedonis. Yeah. So let's see. He's over in the Minos Wasteland. We didn't go out of our way to spare him just for him, him to get killed. Um, it's like, we, did, it's like we didn't go out of our way to talk Garrus down for putting a bullet in his head just for him to turn into Reaper Chow. Yeah. Now where the fuck's... No, that's the Kaelstrom Rift. Minos Wasteland. To the Ambedians. Hello, modern community, and thank you for adding dilemmas. Because we didn't have enough issues with this game. Well, as they say, you can't save them all. I found That's a massive understatement. <laughs> Alright, where are y'all? There y'all are. And Ally Forces update Tyrion veterans. We just grab them, I guess. Yeah, that's basically what happens there. So we just kind of drop down and save their asses. I guess they can't really add custom missions or everything. I mean, they started for Phoenix Project, but that's a later problem. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. It's just not the easiest thing in the world to do. Fair enough. What you're saying is we need to get more upgrades. <clears throat> okay. Is there any... No? No new messages? Well, the thing's pulsing. Why is it pulsing? Yeah, well... Had to make... Ha had to make a choice. Yep. All right, customize the normal. Choice was obvious. You can make a few decisions, like assign an executive officer. Oh my! What did it tell me again? Basically, the second in command. Ah. Uh, clearly, it's Joker. Oh well. Okay then. 
ED, software service history, 2183, Hannibal Mark huh. 9 system Luna base. That's interesting. She was supposed to be built by Cerberus. Interesting. And even and look at the time too. Installed into SR2, 2185. That's two year difference. That's the gap between the first two games. Hmm. So Cerberus basically salvaged that AI and then and, and, and rebuilt it. To... it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. There, mod author, slip, slip that spoiler in there. Why don't you? <laughs> oh, so he didn't just make it up or anything. That's actual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's actually a like late game spoiler. <laughs> well then. Still kind of a plot twist. Yeah. Like we thought we got rid of that, but no, that's been helping us the whole time. Wait, what's in happiness? The AI from from the moon. You remember that special mission uh, in the first game where we had to go to the moon and take take out three bases that had a rogue AI in it? Um. Yeah, I'm not surprised the details are a little fuzzy for you. It has been a while. Yeah. And it has been quite two years, but it's been a while. So yeah, uh, well then. Anyway, who should we slot in this spot, anyway? I mean, clearly Joker. Okay. Okay, so we're seeing our second in command, I guess. Marine officer. We Vega, Javik. Or Garrus. What does Marine Officer actually mean? In charge of the ship's Marine Detachment. Internal security. Second, in the, second to the ground commander. Uh, Garrus. Sounds about right. We've already got these. We've already got these. Detachment strength. I have no idea what any of this means. Yeah. A few non crew specialists. Hmm. Additional squad, none. Add, because we go to we could actually add her to the team. Let's we'll do that later. Oh. Vehicles and equipment. Secondary vehicle. None available. Mech. Cat 06 Atlas. See, we can actually, have a secondary vehicle we, plus the mechs. Actually, can we have a primary. Like, can we change the primary vehicle over to the. No. Like, the Severus one now? Okay. So, a lot of fun we can have there. Yeah. Anyway, to the Citadel for more wandering, talking, and side questing. Yay! Somebody get some caffeine. This might take a while. Eh, minor leaders. Still take less time than the first game, Citadel. You're clear to dock, Normandy. <laughs> Do you need ground transport? Well, each quest is going to take less. It'll be there but, momentarily. Yeah. We have a lot more stuff to deliver this time. Yeah. Yeah, just those two. That's General Oraka. Nothing to talk about here. Not yet. Yep, there's only to talk with the merchant. There's Edie, just casually around. Yeah. Hey, asshole. Get back. Uh, you out there? Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. 
that yeah. works fast. Yeah, basically just sending him where we stashed him or some shit. I don't know. Allied yeah. forces updated. Blue Sun mercenaries. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSAC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavin back, but it's something. Thank you. <laughs> He's like, no, but actually, yes. So we're just saying, I'm not going to be actively doing anything about them. All right, to the hospital. So we go talk to Ash. Yup. And we do have a delivery to make there. That too. Do you even remember what delivery it is? Nope. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. No, we found a better variant of Metagel that allows for an even higher absorption rate among aquatic species. You'd like a sample? Why, of course. We'll be happy to send you one. Just as we sent one to every pharmaceutical company in Citadel Space. <laughs> that was the first minor delivery we made. Yup. She sounds very pleased. Can you blame her? No. Alright, is there anything new Welcome here? Yep. Improve Metagel formula. What the fuck is this? Adds more Metagel. Yes. It always need use more Metagel. Yeah. So basically, they made use of what they found and then just spread it everywhere, so everyone can have it, including us now. And her. She was making a call asking about biotic amp schematics from oh, yeah. Glisten Academy, which we just happened to pick up. I overheard you talking. Glisten Academy is gone, but I found this while I was there. What is it? Yes. These are tailored to human physiology, but with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. You are very welcome. Yay. Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. Once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? If I have anything to say about it, yes. I'm glad. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? There's a lot going on. My mom. They got out in time. They're okay. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... Her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. it seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? <laughs> Invictus by Henley. One of my dad's savvy poets. <laughs> it's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? I'll do. And thanks, Shepard. Yeah. Yeah. No fun. That's it. Yeah. 
it's the river invasion. Nothing's particularly fun. Eh, it depends on your definition of fun. Getting to shoot shit. I mean, yeah. But in terms of it being even remotely pleasant, no. Exactly. Anything down here in Purgatory? I should have checked the map first. Oh, well. <coughs> Maybe. No, just those two. Maybe got nothing new. You checked the maps of the other enemies. Shut up. Embassies, nothing new there. There's stuff at the docking bay, and I know there's stuff at the um, refugee docks. basically in like the holding dock so or like storage I'm not exactly sure how to describe it this is E20 the E docks I guess I don't fucking know okay. listen I don't know how to set it as organized fade enough yeah Batarian genuinely grateful to a human yeah scary what the, like this. scary what the Reapers have done mm-hmm Now, what's that? Pfft. Okay. We have a couple conversations here. Oh, hey! What? It's, um, uh, the bug thing. Oh, Keeper. Yeah. yeah. They wander around. Yeah, since there's not so many and we can actually go across the areas we visit so quickly, we rarely ever see them anymore, so... Yeah. Yeah, I do see them. Actually. Where is... Maybe she's over here. Oh, yeah, there she is. Shepard, there you are. Yeah. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. Yeah. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court martial you. The Ass. Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Oh, of course. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. <laughs> but for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. At least she knows what I'm good for. Yeah. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. 
But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. We've noticed. Yeah. I think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance. I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After Maybe they lost him and decided to be a break. He'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened, but I'll fill you in when I'm certain. I don't know. It's been a long time. What happened? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. <laughs> if you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. <laughs> she certainly changed. Yeah. I could say. Now, where's. There he is. You finally made it off to Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Hovenkar. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock at that. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Lone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting. Like their families back home. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. I'm glad you weren't. You'd be dead. And we'd never have met. Yeah. That's the one good thing from all this. I'm glad to serve with you, Shepard. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody is giving up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. Now, is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look, no guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had easel cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. <sighs> Gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. As they say, war is hell. Mm -hmm. To say the least. We can spare time for a quick cutscene mission. Yeah. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there. He's a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. <laughs> <laughs> calibrated. So a protein, a real live protein. Has the R stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. <laughs> Commander. Yes, Shepard? Nothing, nothing to say. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands. So they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, 
You can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking plants and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So yeah, those two marines on the other side of that door over there. Yeah, they just kind of got yanked along for the ride. That explains a lot. Oh boy, unread messages. Oh boy! <laughs> Garrus. Shepard, I've been practicing a bit of hand-to-hand -hand with the marines. It looks like the Turian's jokes about Alliance marines are true. They can guard a door, but frankly against any sort of real opposition, I have my doubts. After what happened with the Collectors, we shouldn't take any chances. I've had a few effective ideas, but they included too many explosives, and you blow up enough ships already. And then there's the inevitable whining from Joker. Well, let's just say there are worse things than fighting Reapers. I put together some suggestions for security levels in the crew manifest. Interesting. And, J and Joker as XO. Hey, Commander, as the first act of... In my new reign as executive overlord, I'm hiring a chef to join the crew. I always said if I was captain, I w and that if I was captain, that is the f what I would do first. And given XO is about as close as I'm likely to get, I better take advantage. <laughs> yes, thanks for this. I'm enjoying being officially in charge of ED. That was a joke, ED. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, gotta love them. Okay, we've been putting so this off for. We've been putting this off long enough, so let's be diplomatic. Oh boy. So we don't get any more side quests we should finish it for. I don't think so. Well, hopefully we didn't miss anything. Let me just... poke my head out. No, I don't think Project Phoenix has any deadline. I wouldn't know because it's a mod thing anyway, so it's not critical. Okay. And just to be safe, in case something's screwy, I'm gonna save. Lady, yeah. Huh? Right. <clears throat> Let's be diplomatic. It's not it's really. really it's not really in this year. <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> diplomatic ships. The diplomatic ships of the Sal Salarians, Turians, and Krogan float far away from one another out of weapon range. Messages sent by each faction indicate they would welcome the Normandy as a neutral meeting ground for the diplomats. The fact that they have not agreed on a ship to serve as a neutral meeting point before now does not bode well for negotiation. Yeah, that's Oops, uh... Hmm? I hit leave instead of dock. Well. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Yeah, so I guess it's more like they're gonna dock on us rather than the other way around this yeah, time, but you know. Start another war. <laughs> yeah, we've got enough on our hands. No position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Earn not Rex. And I'm mm -hmm. not some junkyard baron you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or the Asari or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. 
Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise that Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the Genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The Genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be... ...will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkash. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Shut the fuck up. Careful where you're throwing stones. You can to have a glass floor. <laughs> ah, I thought I thought we'd manually move in. Oh well. We'll grab Javik. And yes, of course we will. Oh, does he have does he have multiple appearances? Uh yes, in fact. Red and black. And yeah. I think we can take Evie. Evie? I don't think I've ever brought her on this mission. More reason to try. Now, Javik! Listen, kind of curious about what Javik has to say about us just bringing along an actual AI. <laughs> <laughs> If he says anything at all. And I hope he does. Let's let him keep his actual gun. But make it shoot through stuff. And a shotgun. A shotgun with a lot of kick. <laughs> yeah? Edie's already been given some gear. I wonder if he might also have something to say about um, primitive weapons. And he has bi mostly biotics. So I see. I have these and guns. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, max out Slam. Recharge rate or stun? Ooh. Stun. Not a bad idea. Yeah, let's just take a Krogan onto the Solarian homeworld. What could go wrong? 
I mean, technically, we took uh, the American they aren't used to seeing Krogan in here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. Then we'll slaughter the Salarians if they get in our way. Who's that? He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on... You bring Garrus instead of ED Senator. and they have an entirely different exchange. Hmm. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have anything rough now in the Oh, go over that in a minute. I knew they'd never keep oh, their okay. word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race up? Casey forgot he was biotic. I have a must about them. moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist you remain under guard. <clears throat> I can handle this, Rex. Anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. It is Careful! Watch the containment shield! I believe Liara is well acquainted with that species. They were much smaller in my cycle. Oh! <laughs> this space contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials. Morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always no. been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. <laughs> I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. And let's wrap this up by seeing what Rex thinks about being held hostage. No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. And you think Shepard? I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just Good old fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Idle threats are empty threats. <laughs> Maybe when this war is over, you can come live on Tuchunka. You fit right in. <laughs> Bad enough. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best, saving everyone else from giant monsters. I assume you're referring to the Rachni Wars. Well, it sure wasn't synthetics that stopped them. Besides, your kind might have helped them. Oof. Ouch. What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile. So we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. 
We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. Your females are wise. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. But Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. <laughs> and that's exactly what it will take. We're Krogan. We're ready. You can never be ready for what's coming. And this one probably has the single best line, courtesy of Javik. Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Salarian liver served raw. <laughs> <laughs> He's correct. It was a delicacy in our cycle. This Krogan has a unique style of communication. He's an acquired taste. <laughs> I just love the. I prefer it served raw. Dude, really? It's true. It was a delicacy in our cycle. What the fuck? <laughs> it's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rex. If you've got Garrus, uh, he makes uh, he makes a comment about uh, Garrus makes a comment like, "Here I am, supposed to hate all Krogan, and you just come along and warm me up with your winning personality." <laughs> Rex is like, and Rex is like, "Ah, Garrus, I just had to make friends with the one Turian in the galaxy that thinks he's funny." Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and the shuttle. Uh, when Rex is talking about um needing the, that their females are the last hope, uh, Garrus walks up and says, "Uh, uh, don't worry, we'll get them back." You know, just reassuring him because they're old buddies. And uh, Rex makes some comment. I forget what it is, but it's basically like basically some dub is saying he wouldn't want anyone else watching his back for this, which says a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Garrus makes a comment. That basically gave me summed up as, well, well, you know, someone has to. Figured you you had gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. <laughs> and that's when Javik pipes up saying, he would not be king then, would he? And thus the, what's that? <clears throat> uh, there's one thing right here that I'm not going to go go to doing. Please don't touch that. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Okay, maybe I will. Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Perhaps don't touch that on something different in your language. I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? I'm afraid that if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. Really? You must stop touching that. Once more, the Salarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. <laughs> Fine. If you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzer. <laughs> <laughs> We've already been down that road. No more. <laughs> and then it gets rid of the prompt. <laughs> okay. Now that we can round this out on a high note, we'll go through this. To this totally uh, smooth and utter and utterly unblemished transfer later. Totally. Goodbye.